Okay, what we have here is a Dell Inspirion 1720. And you can see the screen is dark on the left side. The bulb has gone bad. Nice computer still works, except the screen is very annoying because it's dark on one side. So I went to laptopscreen.com and ordered, put in the model number and bought a new screen. And the screen arrived. It is a nice brand new screen. Should look make the computer look brand new. I've already re Remove the screws here, four, five, six screws, put them into a baggie and label them so that you don't mix them up. And on the back here are two hinge screws which I put into another baggie uh, to keep track of. Now the next step is to put, there's a little notch here, and you put a screwdriver in and then you remove. Actually, you have to put the screen all the way down. And then you can remove this top. And let me power this down so that we're not working on it with the electricity going through it. Next, we're going to <clears throat> Remove the power, take off the battery so that there's no electricity, and then we're going to unscrew the memory, screw from the memory cover. Take that off. There's four screws, one in each corner, and we're going to remove these screws. Okay, I took the screws out of the four corners, and I unscrewed these, um, which maybe I don't need to, but just in case anything, when you get to them. And then we'll flip it over. Now the keyboard has four screws which you have to remove. One, two, three, four. Once you loosen all the screws, you push the keyboard forward and then it comes out. And this is the connection that it uses, so it really just slides back and back in. Now the next thing to do is pull this up, and there's also a screw here that attaches to here. So unscrew this, pull this up, and then use your screwdriver to get this connection out of there. And then we can move, remove these wires. Green. Okay, I didn't have to remove these two screws. The four screws are this screw, this screw, this screw, this one, and these two. So these are the screws you want to remove. Now the screen, now that remove the right correct screws, will lift up. One connection here. Okay, so I removed this and I want to take this is the um, Wi Fi, so I want to take that off so that it gives more lean, more slack to these wires. And so when I turn this over. Lift up the screen and have more to get this out. 
Okay, so I was able to get the screen. I'll just to pull this wire around there. It's still connected oh, down here to the wireless, so I can't go too far on it. But it is free from the computer right now. And then I can take out, take it apart. Okay, the next thing you do is you, you take your screwdriver and you pry off. Start at the top, and then you have to push these things over to take off the cover. And you can see that this piece is connected to here. So when you when you pry it off, you're going around uh, around here. And actually, once you get to the top part, the rest of it comes off pretty easy. Okay, so now I can pair this screen with the old screen and you can see I need to remove these two screws. Okay, in addition to these two screws, there are four screws on each side that you have to remove. Okay, we have the old screen, the new screen. Basically, you just pull the blue tab to, once you lift it up to move that and this, you squeeze it and then you pull it off. And then you've got the old screen and basically, we'll just put it all back together with the new screen. Okay, so I've put the two connections, I put it in here, and I'm, and I'm curious if it's gonna work. So I plugged in this, plugged in that. I'm gonna just stick this in quick to see if it actually does work before I put it all back together again. And guess what? We have a brand new glossy screen. We used to have a matte screen, this is nicer. Okay, well this was quick, you just basically, push this on and it goes right on so um, not a problem then we'll do the keyboard next and then we'll put some more screws in okay it's all screwed back together we hit the on button and look at that beautiful screen now the prior screen was matte finish this one's actually glossy so this one will actually uh, look nicer so actually, it's a, not only fixing the screen, but it's an upgrade. Okay, it's all done, and wow, this is a beautiful screen. I should have replaced this screen years ago. It wasn't just uh, the ball that was going bad. The resolution on this is beautiful. So, wonderful screen. Um, not too bad to... Uh, to replace. All right, pretty simple. All the instructions are in this video.